Now, welcome to another news from Naboo with Thor's nope. lightning takes. You can anyway, say it all you want. It's not changing. No, it's changing. No. The people want it. What people? I don't know. The people who watch this. No, people want the want the news. Yes, they do. So let's <laughs> get to the news. Okay. First up, we have Ian McDermott saying Palpatine could return, but only in media set before Rise of Skywalker. Aw, I wanted Palpatine back again. <laughs> Just he, kidding. I, I, he did admit to his character being dead for good, and in his quote he said, I think I have to accept that. Thanks to my ungrateful granddaughter, my annihilation was finally final. Of course, uh, with Vader being back in the new Kenobi television series, so I suppose it's not impossible that one day his mentor might be discovered once again, skulking in the shadows. Ooh, he could be in Kenobi, right? Why not? Why not? I mean, he could in even fact, be, you know, kind of be in a hollow or something. I mean, yeah. Kenobi's worried about being discovered by the Empire, so why not get a couple glimpses kinda, of propaganda or whatnot? Yeah, I'm kind of hoping, expecting a Palpatine. You know, not in the flesh, but in a, a right, you know, right. hologram. <laughs> Certainly. Absolutely. Yeah. No reason why not to. But, I mean, I have no problem using Palpatine more, in theory. In theory, uh-oh. I mean, one thing... I know, I know. I always have stipulations, right? I always got requests of Star Wars to get things right. Yep. I mean, I, I think would be interesting, and it wouldn't involve Ian McDermott, for better or worse, would be a Plagueis series set before, you know, the events of The Phantom Menace. We could get a younger, Aww. younger Palpatine, but you know, mentored by Plagueis, you know, based on the book, or... You know, a uh, new canon version of the book. Why not? It's Why one not? of the best books in, you know, in the expanded universe up there. I mean, we said that they couldn't use Ian McDermott, but well, I definitely still, like the way you're headed. You still could. I mean, there could be ways to, you know, kind of see glimpses of the view. It could be a, a, the story of oh, Palpatine's he life. Oh, could see pictures of his, visions of his future. Yeah. That'd be could cool. could see what he's destined to become, and, you know, maybe he embraces that, because the last thing I would want out of this series would be to find out that Palpatine's just been misunderstood all along, no. and he's actually a really good guy, and he had really good intentions. No, he's he's <laughs> evil. Like uh, to do anything but to confirm his, you know, you wanna evilness. See, you want to see pictures of young Sheev on Naboo ripping uh, wings off butterflies? Well, I mean, we don't have to go like <laughs> you know burning cats. <laughs> that and boy's weird, always you know, been things evil. Things like that. Yeah, I don't. I'm not saying that. I don't want to see sadistic. I mean, he is sadistic, but not like. Yeah. Not crazy not over like, the top. Yeah. Right. I don't think he's intentionally cruel, per se. I don't think that's what he's he is. He's just very self-serving and yes, selfish. Yes, that's what the dark, the dark side is. He wants to live forever. Yeah, the dark side is just, you know, selfishness, you know, amped up to a thousand. That, that's what it is. It's not necessarily cruel just to be cruel. It's, you know, doing everything for yourself. Right. I mean, even taking on apprentices is just to gain more power for themselves. Yeah. It's everything is... How, what serves me best and I don't and you know pulling wings off butterflies is not serving anybody it might be interesting to experiment because that's what the dark side does but I, I don't know I know I think we're getting off topic but <laughs> so in other words yeah I'm I'm fine with seeing Ian, Ian McDermott come back I'm fine with seeing a younger Palpatine at some point and exploring his story with Plagueis and so on that would be I mean, amazing he never even said that he would come back as, as Palpatine he said you know his mentor might be discovered once again. I mean, he never said it would even be him. That's He's true. saying the character. That's so, very true. He, yeah. So they and could I, go your direction. We don't know. No, I, I think that would be great. That or a Bane, Bane. series. <laughs> Please. Come on, Disney. We Can can we do bad guy characters without making them good guys? Oof. That's all I ask. Yeah. Just once. No redeeming more, any more bad guys for a little yeah, bit. We don't, we don't Give us bad guys who are just bad guys. Yep. I know it's a Disney, but come on. Embrace it. Embrace the dark side. All right. Next move, <laughs> news story. Uh, there's new toys coming out that might give us a look at how Kenobi might look in Kenobi. <laughs> there's a lot of Kenobi right there. <laughs> so Disney revealed some new product on Good Morning America uh, with the art boxes of lightsabers. You know those those cheap plastic ones with the, cheap with the recoiling ones, that blades that, yeah, they're great for kids. They are. It's a, it's a kid hit product. They them, hit each yeah. other. It's, it's yeah. great fun until they break them. Whatever. So there is a Vader and a Kenobi. He's got kind of his hooded look. I mean, it's not too far off from what we would expect. And Vader kind of looks closer to his Episode 3 iteration. But, you know, it, it's just a drawing of Vader who doesn't yeah. change all too much over the ages. Yeah, we don't know how much they may have. I mean, I, I think you have to be careful with Kenobi. I don't know that you can go too creative with Kenobi because, obviously, he looks kind of in Episode 4 when we see him. He looks very similar to just how he's always looked back in the day. Yeah, I mean, he's got a beard-mustache combo thing going yeah. on. He's wearing a hood. 
I mean, that looks kind like kind of how he should look. I don't think they need to get creative with how Kenobi looks because I don't think he really changed up. Which is weird because you think he would totally oh. change up his look. I'm totally not a Jedi. Look I mean, at me I wearing was, different clothing. Honestly, I was hoping, seeing as he lived on Tatooine, I'd get some mods. <laughs> uh, is it the mod shop? Yeah. Yeah, it's the mod shop. Please don't, Kenobi. <laughs> please. Please. Okay, should we move on then? Yeah. All right, our last story today is an interesting one. So, and I'm going to put a link to this video in the description. There is a video that was circulating on Reddit that gives us a look about the how the Galactic Star Cruiser will look a little bit. It's a short video. Uh, it really just shows the dining hall and the Twi'lek Gaia singing. So, Singing one, the same song from the trailer, I uh, believe, yes, too. Yes, someone on, on Discord was curious if she knows any other songs. Maybe she's just really good at one song. That's it. You get one song. So the space in the video looks really small. It does. The concepts. The concept look really art large. makes this thing look vast, like it a like does. a giant. Because it should be a giant starship. Yeah. So I mean, what is capacity on? Do we know what capacity is on this? Because I know like modern cruise because, ships, for example. Say, capacity are, of the hotel is small. Capacity of a star cruiser should be quite. Yeah, large. I'm just curious because I know modern cruise ships are just ginormous and their capacity is in the thousand. They're like you know floating cities, so. You would think a galactic star cruiser, and by the by the concept art, it does look like it's supposed to be massive, and I don't, you know, I right. don't feel like it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't have much to say about this. I am curious though, how because if if this video, I mean, we're gonna find out stuff soon. Yeah, March first is the maiden voyage. <laughs> yeah. of this new star cruiser, but I want to know how much bang for your buck you're really getting. Because yeah. if this is small and cramped and crowded, I don't want to be cramped and crowded if I'm spending that much on vacation. I want to feel like look, I have a little yeah, space. Yeah, your, your room looks very small unless you pay the premium. A uh, lot of people... And I'm okay with a smaller room because how much time am I going to be spending in it? I want to go down to, you know, Batu you... and Galaxy. Oh, yeah, you go to Galaxy's Edge, You get off the sure. ship, Which is and that's of... connected to all of the Disney parks, so it's not like you can't... It's kind of odd that of the two days you spend one of them in Galaxy's Edge, I mean, you're paying all this money to... I, I would think just experience the ship, right? Well, that's you get one day experiencing the ship, and one day you well, get to go to the park. So you're paying one day for all these. All don't think too hard. Day. I'm. I don't want to because I, I just think, like I said, I don't want to say too much about it. Well, within a few days, maybe we'll get reviews, and I'm sure I'm those first reviews are going to be from people who were not paid to be there but got a nice little free ride into the right. park or the. I just um, want to see a resort. fair review. That's what I want to see. I want to see when a couple of months from now when the, the common everyday person is going there who may be a Star Wars fan, may not be such a Star Wars fan. What do they think? Is this... Common everyday person with money. Well, yeah, with a lot of money, too. Or that, who won which is, tickets. I tried to win us tickets. If we ever go, and I don't know that we will, mm. I know you do want to go. I really do. I am not I as keen. to, to stop. My idea of a vacation is not being crammed into a, a resort. And, uh, Even if my I can't idea. go to that, I, I really want to go to Disney. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't really want to judge it. Maybe we'll see it someday. I don't know. I, if you want, if this is your kind of thing, that's great. I don't know, necessarily think it's my type of thing, even though it's Star Wars, and I obviously love Star Wars. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe this will be better than it kind of looks right now. Maybe it'll be a lot better. Or maybe it'll be even worse. I think, like I said, a few months from now, we'll probably get some honest reviews coming mm -hmm. out from this place. And we'll go from there, I guess. Well, you know, and even if we don't ever go on the Galactic Star Cruiser... There's nothing stopping us from just going to Disney and going to the park ourselves. Yeah, we do want to go to Disney. Just mm -hmm. see, yeah, we'll see Gal you know, Galaxy's Edge and some I don't know, things. do all hotels down there cost as much per two nights? Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> At least I hope not. I, I'm not uh, an expert on Disney prices, but I'm pretty sure there are more reasonable options than uh, Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> and if not, well, then maybe we're never going to Disney. I don't know. No, and I don't know how so many people do go there. So. But anyway... I guess that's all we got for you this time. Not much news, more kind of some interesting tidbits. tidbits and, today. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>